All right, with this forecast video update on this Monday, April 12th, this is the evening edition. I am Josh Brown. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. And after an active day yesterday of severe weather that uh, swept through central Florida, the dry weather is here. So we'll get a little bit of a break from the uh, rainy weather here uh, today through Wednesday, but another round could be heading our way as we head towards the end of this week, which I'll explain more about that here in just a little bit. But first things first, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at those high temperatures we saw today in uh, central Florida. And as you can see, the temperatures uh, did look a little warm here across the viewing area, across the viewing area, but not as hot like it, like we saw on Saturday. So earlier today here in Orlando, uh, we, actually, we actually saw a high temperature at about 83. Same thing for you folks over in Ocala. Once you go farther south into Lakeland, it looks like you've seen high temperatures in the mid 80s this afternoon and a little cooler over towards the I-95 corridor like Palm Coast, Daytona Beach, and Titusville with highs only reaching into the upper 70s. But if we go ahead and take a look at our current temperatures right now at this uh, 8 o'clock hour, and it's still a little bit warm out there. As you can see, we're still sitting at about uh, 81 in Orlando. 83 is the current temperature in Kissimmee. Same thing for you all in Sanford and Points West and others like along I-95. Temperatures are sitting in the mid-70s, so not bad out there this evening. So if we got some uh, plans outdoors, you are good to go. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Futurecast and show you what we're expecting as far as more rain chances go here for uh, later this week. We may, see, we, may see, we may see a little bit of it on Wednesday, but I think the good chance will hold off until the end of this week. But we'll still look at Futurecast and see if there, if there will be any uh, possible isolated showers on Wednesday, which I think there will be. And before we get started, once again, if you're just uh, popping on into Facebook Live on this Monday evening, I would not mind if you could uh, go ahead and share this feed to your other Facebook followers, because you know my motto, sharing is caring. And also before we get to, we also before we take a look at future cast, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and share uh, this feed to one of my other Facebook pages. So again, hang on just a minute, and we will, uh, uh, you know, move on. All right, so here we go. So here's Futurecast. So heading into the rest of tonight, into the day tomorrow, we'll be looking dry here across central Florida. So no rain is expected here in our viewing area. And as we get into the day on Wednesday, uh, looks like most of the day should be dry. But again, I cannot rule out maybe a few showers in some places. But uh, other than that, no big deal. Other than that, it'll be just it'll just be mostly dry. So there you have it there. So if we go ahead and take a look at the temperature part on Futurecast, I'm going to show you uh, how warm it's going to get for the next few days before our next front moves in. So let me pinpoint temperature location by location. And we got uh, Mike Pierce uh, in the house already. So good to have you, sir, as always. And thank you again for, stop for stopping by and saying uh, hello. We really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> so, so here is the temperatures for overnight tonight into the first half of the day tomorrow. So it looks like we'll see another cool start with mostly in the way of mid to upper 50s. Maybe some could even get down to about 60, about 60 degrees uh, as we head towards tomorrow morning. But other than that, we mostly will be in the 50s to begin our Tuesday, but as we head towards the afternoon, again, we'll see temperatures heat things up into the upper 80s, and some may even hit 90 degrees in some of our inland areas, but under the, other than that, I think we'll still be in the 80s for our inland communi communities of uh, central Florida. 
And once you go farther towards the east, like around Daytona Beach, Palm Coast, and Titusville, temperatures will be a little cooler with mostly upper 70s to about lower 80s, but still mostly on the warm side. But again, the biggest warm temperatures will be in our inland places here in our viewing area. And then if you've got any evening plans, it looks like you'll be good to go because uh, temperatures will be looking still somewhat warm, but not too bad with mostly in the way of upper 60s, like in Kissimmee, Sanford, Daytona Beach, and Palm Coast, and maybe some low 70s in our inland areas, especially in Orlando, Titusville, Lakeland, Ocala, and the Villages. As we head towards the overnight hours, late tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning, again, could start off with low temperatures uh, in the upper 50s, but some could even see some low 60s, like, like here in Orlando, to begin our Wednesday. So a little milder, milder here in the state. And as we head into the afternoon, again, we'll see temperatures uh, heat up into the mid to upper 80s. So we're talking about a high temperature on Wednesday at 87 in Orlando, 85 in Sanford, 83 for Daytona Beach, 87 for the Villages, 86 for both Ocala and Lakeland. And we could see a high temperature in Titusville at about 81 also for the day on Wednesday. Again, it could be a few isolated showers in some places, but other than that, will be mostly dry. And then as we head towards the evening hours, as the clock ends towards 2 a.m. early Thursday, but still part of late Wednesday night, we'll still be looking pretty warmer with upper 60s and low 70s. So uh, there you have it there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the radar here before we get back to the GFS. See what's going on right now currently in central Florida. And as you can see, we are looking pretty dry. So we're going to stay that way here for the next couple of days before the next good chance of some rain uh, rolls back into central Florida by the end of this week. All right, so here is the uh, GFS. So let's begin into the day on Thursday, and right now the GFS is pointing out maybe just a few showers in Central Florida during the day Thursday, but it's not going to rain all day. So I so I, so I think we're going to call for about a thirty percent coverage of some showers, especially from Orange County north as we head towards that day. But the good chances of rain will stay north and west of here, so anywhere from the uh, Florida Panhandle and across the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama. There will be a good chance for some showers and storms with the next system approaching as we head towards uh, this Thursday. So that's something we'll have to uh, keep a close eye on. Other than that, our high temperatures will still be looking warm only in the mid 80s here in the, in the viewing area. But if you go farther up north where the good chance of rain will be occurring, that's going to allow temperatures to cool off into the 60s and low 70s. So, uh, so again, there you have it there. And again, that's, that's ahead of another cold front that will be arriving uh, with that system. And here is Friday, which is the 16th. And as you can see on the GFS, that we will see a bit of a good chance for some showers and maybe even a few isolated thunder showers to make its way to central Florida as we approach that day. And it's mostly going to be an on and off event. So it's not going to be like when we saw yesterday that it pretty much rained all day until everything cleared by evening. So nothing like that, nothing like what we saw on Sunday, but just be aware that there could be some showers and storms around, but just an on and off activity we're talking about. So we'll call our coverage here at about 50% uh, in central Florida as we approach the day on Friday. And as we take a look at our high temperatures, and here comes that front. And once the front has passed through central Florida, that's going to allow temperatures to drop from the 80s down into the low to perhaps the mid 70s, which is... Uh, you know, not too bad, at least for temperatures to be that way, but that's because of the uh, front that will be passing through. But farther south you go, it seems like temperatures across southern Florida could remain pretty hot ahead of that front with upper 80s and low 90s. But farther north you go into the uh, Mississippi Valley, looks like temperatures behind the front could even drop down much cooler with more in the way of mid-50s and perhaps some low to mid-60s for high temperatures. <clears throat> Now, as we get into the weekend, so this is Saturday, which is which is uh, April 17th, and there'll still be some showers around, but again, I don't expect for this to be an all-day event, so we'll call for about a 30% coverage of some showers and maybe a storm or two, but nothing severe like we saw again from yesterday. 
but so right now the good chance is going to stay farther north into the uh, panhandle of Florida, which includes the I-10 corridor. So anywhere from, uh, let's say, Tallahassee to Jacksonville, uh, there could be some pretty decent heavy rains with that system here by Saturday, and that could add up totals between two to four inches. So there could be some flooding concerns uh, over in that uh, area. But for us, flooding is not a problem, but at least we'll see a little bit of more rain here in the state as we head into the day, both on Friday and even Thursday, too, and, of course, on Saturday. And as we take a look at our high temperatures, and after a day of some cooler temperatures on Friday, right now, according to the, G according to the GFS, it seems like temperatures may start to heat things back into the upper 80s and low 90s. So, yep, it will be hot again. So if you're not a big fan of hot weather, just remember that it will not last too long after the first rump passes through because it will be coming back as we head into the weekend. But if you want cooler weather, you may want to go up north because temperatures will be looking much cool in the 50s and 60s for high temperatures. And uh, here is Sunday, and it looks like we'll see a bit of another, or a bit of a more good chance, I guess you can say, of showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms in the state. So, so, so it could be maybe another wet day here on Sunday, but on and off. So not going to rain all day, not an all-day washout. But if you got any outdoor plans, you may want to you may want to uh, uh, consider taking a poncho. So we'll call our coverage of rain on Sunday at about a 50% here in Central Florida. And as we checked in with our high temperatures that day, and it looks like once uh, another front approaches, so that'll be front number two, that's going to allow temperatures to cool things down into the mid 80s. But if you go farther south into South Florida, you, as you can see, the temperatures may be looking hotter with highs in the mid to upper 90s. Yeah, it could be really a hot day for South Florida on Sunday. Of course, it could be a good, it could be a good day to go to the beach. But, but since that the rain with, and the, and with that uh, second cold front that will be arriving on Sunday, that's going to bring us at least a little bit of a relief from the 90 degree plus heat right here in the state, at least for Central Florida. And if you go farther up north, temperatures will remain much cooler with 50s, 60s, and even some low 70s. But in terms of severe weather with this system, if we, if we go ahead and take a look at the instability, and it shows that uh, we could see maybe a few strong to severe storms in central Florida by the time we get into the day on Sunday. So that is something we'll have to uh, keep a close eye on. But, you know, we're still kind of several days out till we get to the weekend, so, you know, that could really bring some changes as we get closer. So I will keep you all posted. On that and as we get into early next week it looks like we'll see a much better uh, chances for showers and storms here in central Florida so it could be another wet start to the work week next week as we approach the 19th so we'll call our coverage of showers and storms at about a 70% here in central Florida so yes you may need a poncho you may, you may need a poncho again as we head towards that day and it looks like our temperatures will really cool things down from the 80s down into the mid 70s by the time we get into Monday of next week. But in terms of severe weather, once again, if we look at the instability, and it shows that, uh, yeah, it shows that since temperatures could be warm enough and, the, and that there'll be enough moisture and enough, uh, you know, at least we'll say a bit of humidity, that could allow maybe for just a few uh, strong to perhaps a few isolated severe storms in central Florida as we approach not just on Sunday, but into the day of Monday. Uh, early next week. So again, that is something we will have to uh, keep a close eye on. But remember, this is still several days out, so that could always change as we get closer to Sunday and into early next week. So as always, I will keep you all posted. And the rain doesn't doesn't just stop as we head into a week from tomorrow. That is Tuesday, April 20th. And as you can see, the heaviest rain is going to be sticking around for Central Florida as we approach that day. But notice on the GFS, as you can see, back towards the west of I-4, so anywhere from western Orange County back into Osceola, Polk, Sumter, and Lake County. So it could be some pretty decent heavier rains that could add totals between 2 to 4 inches. So that could lead into maybe some possible flooding if the GFS is correct. But remember... This is still kind of too early to tell what will happen by early next week. So that's why you may want to keep on checking back with me here on Facebook Live this week for any changes. So that's why I'll keep you all posted. But if we take a look at our high temperatures and it looks like uh, 
the temps are going to start to really cool things down since the rain will continue on Tuesday with more in the way of mid-60s. Uh, uh, but elsewhere where the rain will, will not be happening, especially across the Mississippi Valley and, and even down towards South Florida, that could bring temperatures uh, a little warm but mostly spring-like in the mid to upper 60s and low 70s. But except for South Florida, its temperatures will be feeling more like summer with upper 80s and low 90s. So, uh, yeah, we, we will just have to wait and see what happens. But by the time we get into the middle of next week, this is for Wednesday, April 21st, the rain chances will, the rain chances will start to uh, taper down to about uh, uh, about 30 to 40 percent uh, here in central Florida, especially if you go from I-4 in east. But some of us, especially west of I-4, could, could be seeing some clearing uh, from the wet weather we'll be seeing here for the next uh, couple of days early next week. So, again, we'll have to wait and see what happens by the time we get closer to uh, the 21st of this month. But if we look at those, if you look at those high temperatures, and yet again, it seems like we'll see mostly upper 70s and close to 80 degrees. So it looks like it'll be a pretty nice day to get outside once the rain moves out of uh, our state at, as we get into, once again, the middle of next week. And even the same thing for the Mississippi Valley, because you can see temperatures will also uh, be feeling more pretty good with low to mid 70s. All right, uh, heading into uh, next Thursday, which is April 22nd, and it looks like the rain chances will start to uh, push on farther south into southern Florida. So that means here in central Florida, we'll be seeing some more dry weather as we approach uh, that day and throughout the rest of the southeast. And as we check in with our high temperatures and look at there, we stay perfect. The upper 70s along I-95 and others inland in the low 80s. So, again, if you've got some plans for the, for the 22nd, and if the GFS doesn't change much, it looks like it could be a pretty day to uh, just get outside and enjoy the spring-like weather. And that could also continue across the Mississippi Valley, too, with highs in the upper 70s and some spots in the lower 80s, like around near Atlanta. All right, as we enter Land of Voodoo. Uh, this is for Friday, April 23rd, and the shower chances are going to continue to stay south into southern Florida. Elsewhere across the southeast, including here in central Florida, our weather looks to stay perfect with lots of uh, dry conditions and some sunshine. And uh, our high temperatures below that for us looks to be uh, mostly still, well, it, it may somewhat still feel like spring here in central Florida, but since temperatures will be warming into the mid 80s, it may feel like a, it may feel like a little bit more like summer. So it's, it's spring slash summer, summer-like weather we're talking about as we approach the end of next week, which is still not too bad. And that can also happen across uh, southeastern Georgia, like around Savannah, all the way up towards uh, Charleston, South Carolina. So it could be some 80s uh, possible here by the end of next week, and even some separate, uh, upper 70s and low 80s back over towards Alabama and Mississippi. So looking pretty good here as we head into, uh, again, Thursday and Friday of next week. But remember, we're, our, we're now in, a, in the land of voodoo country, so, you know, things could really change as we get closer. That's what we call it, the land of voodoo. And as we head into Saturday, April 24th, it looks like still the rain continues in South Florida, but not here in Central Florida. So Central Florida's weather looks to be pretty dry, with more the way of sunshine, and even the same thing throughout the rest of the southeast. And our high temperatures uh, below that looks to be, again, looking a bit warmer with highs in the low to mid 80s. And even it could be some 80s around the Mississippi Valley region, too, like around southern Georgia into southern Alabama, back into New Orleans, and even some 70s uh, all across Jackson over towards uh, eastern Georgia and South Carolina. So, again, it could be, again, there could be some perfect weather uh, to end the work week next week and even into the final weekend of April. So, again, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so heading into the final Sunday of April, that's the 25th, and still the shower chances uh, continues to remain in South Florida, but none here in Central Florida. But notice farther to the northwest you go, there could be a system that could produce another round of some rain across the Mississippi Valley region. So we'll have to wait and see what happens then. And our high temperatures below. Yet again, for us, continues to warm up into the mid-80s. Some could see some upper 80s as well here in central Florida by the time we get into the 25th. And even 
this green light temperatures, which where 70s and 80s will happen, will continue for the Mississippi Valley. So if, if that's your type of weather, well, we'll see what happens. But we'll see what happens by the time we get into uh, the final weekend of April, because there's a chance we'll see this type of weather or that type of weather, I should say. But, you know, it's just too early to tell. And heading into the final Monday of April, that's two weeks from today, April 26th. And as you can see, that we will continue to stay mostly dry in central Florida with lots of sunshine. But again, that same new system will bring some more showers and storms across the Mississippi Valley region. But a good chance will be around southern sections of Alabama and Georgia. So something to watch. But again, it's just too early to make a call on that. And our high temperatures ahead of the system. And it looks like ahead of another cold front with highs in the mid to upper 80s could be some low 90s to return across south florida too but again that's something we're gonna have to watch but behind the front we'll be we'll be pushing through through the mississippi valley region that's going to bring temperatures at least back into spring like with mostly from 80s back down into the low to mid 70s so again we'll wait and see but you know it's, it's just two weeks off and this is likely it could change So with that same system, by the time we get into Tuesday, April, 20, April 27th, we'll see the showers uh, move into central Florida. But the thunderstorm threat looks to be relatively low at this point. Right now, the rain chances looks to stay low at the moment, but could be could be some in some in some places. So we'll call for about a 20 to a 30 percent coverage of some isolated spotty showers here in the viewing area. And uh, with these temperatures for highs. And with that uh, cold front, it will slide from north to south and behind it. That's going to allow our temps to cool down into the upper 70s and low 80s. So looking pretty nice by the time we get into the final Tuesday of this month. But if you go farther north into the Mississippi Valley, that's going to bring even more cooler temperatures with upper 60s and low, perhaps even to middle 70s. So looking nice for the southeast as we approach the final week of, once again, April. But again, we're still in the land of voodoo country, so that could always change once we get closer. And last but not least is Wednesday, April 28th. And as you can see, we'll see the showers taper off, and that will give us plenty of dry weather to, uh, you know, in the at least in the uh, GFS uh, forecast. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens then, because, you know, this is two weeks away, so that could still change. And our high temperatures finally will start to, uh, again, remain not too bad with upper 70s and low 80s. But look at these temperatures across uh, the southern part of Mississippi and the southwest Alabama. It could be even a bit warmer with average uh, summer-like temperatures in the mid-80s. So that would be pretty nice. You know, also could be some good beach days for people to live around uh, Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, perhaps near Biloxi, even New Orleans as well. So, again, we'll have to wait and see because, you know, it's this is two weeks away. And that's why we call this the land of voodoo, but I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, gang, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this Facebook live feed on this Monday night. So uh, I'll have another update tomorrow night, same time between 8 and 8.30. And I'll continue, as always, by posting my notes or updates on my blog and Facebook pages 24-7. In the meantime, hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening. Please remember to stay safe by taking care of yourselves and each other. And God bless.